<laughs> I agree. All right, in 48 hours, we will know whether Boise State or UCF will hold bragging rights after years of fan trash talk. There has been that, and to that we say, let's go! <laughs> Broncos kick off the season on the road, making the 2,200-mile trip from Albertson Stadium down to Orlando, where the Bounce House is sure to be bouncing come Thursday night. That's the name of their, their stadium, it the is. Bounce House, and it that is. is where we find our sports director, Jay Tust. Jay, there are so mm -hmm. many storylines that we could talk about, but we want to know what's at the top of your mind before kickoff. Yeah, kicking off football season in Florida. Why not? It's worked out before. Earlier this evening, Hank Bachmeyer's mom, April, reminded me that it was two years ago to the day that Boise State went into Tallahassee and clinched their largest ever comeback over a Power 5 opponent in school history. This time, we are live in Orlando, and as you guys said, standing outside the bounce house. This place is going to be rocking in two days. We are no longer counting down the days, though, to football season. We are counting down the hours. There are 43 Three of them left to be exact before one of the more highly anticipated matchups between group of five schools in college football history. Speaking of Hank, how about this? QB1 helping his teammates unload the bus. These guys arrived locally right around 9 o'clock. Idaho native Tyler Crow and his curls are going to get to play in a big road game tomorrow. It's a stage that senior K. Kalo Kaniho has experienced a number of times in his career. Boise State President Dr. Marlene Trump was on the sidelines at that Florida State upset in 2019. And guess what? The good luck charm is coming to the Sunshine State as well. You know, one could easily easily argue though this anticipated trip is something that really excites Riley Smith maybe more than any other Bronco on the football roster. You are a long way from home obviously uh, playing here at Boise State. How much of a difference is there from where you grew up to where you are you know currently going to college? Yeah it's crazy the the closest hill is about two states up so it's uh, really interesting being out here and seeing mountains on a daily basis. And even though Florida has a lot of opportunities to go out and um, do outdoor activities, it's very different here. Going in the mountains, uh, going hiking, fishing, a bunch of stuff like that, floating down rivers. All we have is, is beaches and, and other stuff like that. So it's, it's definitely different, but biggest part of my recruitment was being able to go somewhere new and experience a new place. And Boise has been awesome and has given me a lot. Riley, two years ago when you guys went down to Florida State, you got into the game, but you know only for a couple of plays. Now you're going back home, and, and you're a key contributor on this team. What's it going to be like to go back home and, and play in front of some family and friends? Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Um, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, being able to play in front of my parents, friends, grandparents, because they, they haven't seen me really play a game live since, since high school. And so... Uh, it's going to be an awesome experience, and I'm so excited just to be able to play in front of my close family and um, everyone that supported me through high school and where I'm at now. I'm super excited, and I think it's going to be a great opportunity and a great opportunity to, to show what we've been building. A picture. Here is a picture of Riley and his Florida family. As good as Riley is, I'm told to keep an eye out for his grandmas because apparently they're going to bring some noise from the stands, especially look out for Grandma Karen. As we wrap up our day one coverage here in Orlando, we got so much coming your way tomorrow. I'm going to get inside the bounce house, give you a tour of one of college football's coolest facilities. Also, we are going to catch up with some members of Bronco Nation. I'm not going to lie, Kim and Mark, uh, a couple of them were supposed to join me on the live shot. Apparently, the party they're at <laughs> is better than the party I'm currently at. Either way, the blue and orange are here. They are present. They are having fun, and waves more will show up tomorrow as we get a little bit closer to kickoff. Well, it is almost 13 minutes after midnight there on the East Coast. But Jay, you were there when the team showed up. Give me a feeling of what kind of mood they're in. Are they tight, yeah. business-like, or were they, woof, woof, yeah, let's nervous. go. Yeah, yeah, what's up? I, I think that 
I think everybody's excited, Mark. Walked by Scott Matlock really quick. He said he's ready for football season. And Riley kind of gave me one of those thumbs up that he's like, yeah, I'm home. Let's play some football. Let's get after it. I tell you, we're just at the point in time in the year, guys, where I, I, I love everything. I love everyone. Football <laughs> season is here, and my world is right right now. You get a car. You get a car. You get a car. It's Christmas for Jay Tuss. Jay, we love it. We love your energy. Love you too, bro. Yeah. All right. And we love Grandma, Riley. <laughs> Grandma. Grandma, she's going to bring it at the Grandma bounce house. K. Yes. All right. Our game day guide is live at KTVB.com. Just text BSU to the number on your screen and we'll send you a link to that guide. And in 15 minutes, Will has more insight on Thursday's season opener. Can I just brag on KTVB for a yeah. minute? We're the only local Steve TV station there. We are the official station for Bronco Nation. We're the only How TV cool was that exclusive the video there. to see them coming Fantastic. in off the bus and in the hotel there? You can and only get that one place. Love it. All right.